my lord! That is completely absurd! A human is in control of the Netherworld, you say? I know it's pathetic, but that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Totally pathetic. Why do all villains start to get all chatty about their secrets after they're defeated? Whose voice is that? It seems like it's echoing inside my head! Or is he just trying to make his defeat more meaningful by revealing the shocking news? That kind of behavior is unacceptable. As well as being a bit unsightly, if you ask me. Desko doesn't feel good about this at all. His voice has a very malicious tone. Huh? Just sounds like a perverted old man's voice to me. Ouch. A perverted old man? Oh, you've made this old man very sad. You've earned the right to be called a pervert by sneaking around and peeping on us. Show yourself! How rude. I don't mind the girls, but I won't stand being insulted by some useless demon. Bastard. Who the hell are you? Shouldn't you introduce yourself first, Valva Torres? This man. How does he know who I am? Oh, but this might be a bit of a problem for me, since I got rid of my name a long time ago. You got rid of your name? <laughs> your parents must have given you a really bad one. So, you're Mr. Nameless? That's kinda stupid. I didn't get rid of it because I didn't like it. I got rid of it because it was useless to me while I was being reborn. Getting rid of their name to be reborn? <laughs> That's a typical human thing to do to escape reality. It's the stereotypical mindset of a criminal. A criminal? <laughs> Good guess. Sure, many humans may view me as something like that. But I'm not a criminal. I was born to judge humanity's sins. You may call me Judge Nemo. A man who is... no one. Judge Nemo. Nemo means no one in Latin. This is the ruler of the human world, who monopolizes the fear energy and controls the netherworld. The ruler of the human world? Ugh! I've never seen this guy before in my life! You probably wouldn't even recognize the leader of your own country. Hey, sure, I don't remember his name, but I'd at least recognize his face. It's guy with the greasy face! I've never heard of a ruler of the human world before! Ruling both the human world and the netherworld behind the scenes, without ever appearing in public. Ugh, he is pretty final boss-like, isn't he? Dusko feels defeated. So, Valvatoris. You've defeated the President in a world where violence equals justice. That means you're the top dog of the Netherworld. I heard you're trying to bring the sensibilities of Hades to the Netherworld and human world. That's right. Bravo! This is fantastic, Valvatores. That's exactly what I intend to do. What? Actually, my goal is to turn the other worlds into Hades, too. Hey, wait a second, old man. Why would the ruler of the human world want to bring Hades to his world? Why wouldn't I? Humans are garbage. Their very existence is a sin. I couldn't agree with you more. But doesn't that make you garbage, too? Didn't I tell you that I'm the judge? I'm not human anymore. I'm here to admonish and annihilate them. I'm only doing this in the useless demon's stead. I deserve your gratitude. Disco, is this what your father is like? No! Disco wasn't created by someone like him. Besides, Disco was created to complete a very noble task. A noble task? Like what? What else are you supposed to do, other than become a final boss? 
That's, um, a secret? What do you say, Valvatores? Why don't we join forces since we have the same goal in mind? Let's turn the worlds into Hades together. We can destroy everything. Shut up. My goal is not to destroy the universe. It is to discipline both humans and demons. Turning their worlds into Hades, I will re-educate humans and demons and return them both to what they're supposed to be. But the worlds are going to be like Hades after all, right? So what's the difference? Lout. Nemo wants to destroy the worlds, and our Lord wants to reform the worlds by transforming them into Hades. Although the worlds will become like Hades in either situation, their motives and purposes are completely different. That is correct! Hades is the place where you atone for your sins and train yourself to reform. But you speak of using Hades to destroy the worlds. I would never team up with a fool who holds such absurd ideas! Are you choosing to oppose me? Even if I stop the distribution of fear energy? Even if you know that you can never defeat me? Even if we don't have fear energy, I still have sardine energy! Plus, I don't seem to remember ever not being able to defeat you. <laughs> Isn't that a bit arrogant? Do you think you stand a chance against me just because you defeated Hugo? Okay, fine. Let's end this. The Netherworld will be annihilated, and it'll all be thanks to you, Valva Torres. That won't happen. I'll defeat you and save the Netherworld and Human World. Then I'll turn them into Hades! Geez, you seriously aren't making any sense. Are you gonna save us or not? Okay, then come to the human world. I'll try to break things down for you there so that you finally understand that you'll never defeat me. <laughs> Wait, Nemo! You will regret appearing before us here and acting like a final boss! Judge Nemo, for whom are you doing this? Final episode! Battle! Final boss versus final boss! Hey, what about the office of the president? We defeated him, so I get to be the president now, right? No, you idiot. The current president is none other than my master, Lord Valvatores. What? Are you serious? So if I want the position, then I just have to take Valzi down, right? Okay. Desco is always on Big Sis's side. Desco will fight together with you. Fools! I am not your enemy. If you want the position, just take it. First come, first serve. What? First come, first serve? I won't have that. Sweet! I want to be the president. Warden Axel! You're still alive? Of course I am. I will never die. For I am Axel. No, I doubt that's the real reason. You're not making any sense at all, either. I bet he's another fake! A remaining A-virus! We must disinfect it! My blood is perfect for this. I can offer him a sip of it for a million health. Did you think that no one would notice that you just upped the price? Listen up! I'm not a fake! I am none other than the original Axel. My real mission was to dye this netherworld my colors. As the Dark Hero, I have traveled the various netherworlds. But when I arrived in my thousandth netherworld, I realized that the only netherworld I hadn't visited was the one belonging to Earth. However, what awaited me here were various nefarious corruptment traps. The Corruptorman feared my charismatic arrival, so they captured and confined me to Hades. 
from then on, I was literally in a living hell. But I never gave up. To reach the masses of this netherworld, I sucked up to the corrupt officials until I finally rose to the position of warning. So what's the point of telling us all of that now? Why are you doing this? Because I had completely forgotten about it. Just let me finish. Forgotten about what? Your initial goal? Correct. To hide my initial motives, I became someone else and played up to the corrupter man. But I got way too into it. My amazing acting skills had even tricked myself. Hmm? It's not your amazing acting skills. You're just an idiot. Say what you want. After all these years of struggling, my efforts will finally be worth it. First come, first serve. You're the 62nd president of the Netherworld. Alright! I know we've had a lot of ups and downs in the past, but as far as I'm concerned, it's all water under the bridge. Now, leave this place to me and go to the human world. Go on, get... I'll make sure to make this Netherworld bleed my colors while you're away. Yeah! So that was it? Really? Are you serious? You can't do that without my consent. This is my dream! Are you still talking about that? This isn't your dream, it's reality. No way! This is a dream! This can't be happening for reals! How could this be? Out of everyone, that idiot became the president. This world is doomed. It'll be fine. Besides, I thought Mr. Vampire was after something much more significant. I'm sure his mind is occupied with something more important than the position of the president. Don't ever speak of our lord as if you understand who he is. That really pisses me off. You don't have to tell me. Usurping the regime was only the first milestone of our lord's path to supremacy. Treating my father is only a milestone. How far do you plan on going? <laughs> That's a secret. Well, I'm looking forward to the day when that secret is revealed. Shut up. This doesn't even involve you in any way. I plan on getting rid of you sooner or later. Oh, I get it. This must be one of those dreams where I become the ruler of the human world. It must be it. We just have to defeat that gross old man, Captain Nemo or whatever, right? It's Judge Nemo, Big Sin. And you're calling the ruler of the human world, who is also controlling my father, a gross old man? I appreciate having someone like Fuka in our group. She's definitely good at setting the mood. <laughs> She's just an idiot. Although I suppose it's better than having her crying and whining all the time. Whatever the reason is, it's great that you're motivated to defeat that Judge Nemo person. Be prepared for it, lass. Sure thing. When I'm the ruler of the human world, I'm gonna turn all the idols in the world into my own personal frenies. Okay, everyone, let's get going. 